Hi, this is my first video um, talking about my paintings. I've had a lot of questions about the meaning of my paintings and I've always been a little ambivalent about doing a video about the meaning of my paintings because I feel like I want people to just, um, for it to represent what they uh, feel it should represent, but I realize my art is very representational. So that's a, kind of a silly thing. It's not abstract. So clearly it represents something. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about um, this painting here. This painting is called Fertilizer. Um, I painted it about two years after my daughter died. Um, after she died, I was pretty much an insane person. And um, just dealing with the grief of losing my only child and my person and um, you know, it was quite a process um, after she died, but uh, a couple, I would say like a year and a half after she died, I started realizing that her death created a rebirth in myself. Um, you know, I had a lot of trauma as a child and through adulthood um, and her death really allowed me to look at myself, take a deep look at myself and um, recognize what I was doing in this world. And so this painting is about that rebirth. It's about how her death acted as a fertilizer for my personal growth. Um, and so you can see her here, um, the roots, of this tree are coming down or, and are kind of um, are um, tying her up um, in a way that she she's sort of held captive by this um, experience the experience of death and um, and but they're also feeding this tree so if you if you see this tree it's coming up and the and here these are actually paint chips um, when she was born 16 years prior to her to her um, to her death um, I was painting and I I would scrape the paint the old paint off of my palette and um, and I just saved them for 16 years. I saved all of my old paint. And so I decided to use it in this painting and I, I just glued it down. These are the leaves. So it really represents this whole process, um, the 16 years of her birth to her death. And then um, her hair here is turning into sunflowers um, just because Sunflowers were her favorite flower, and it just, it's, it's a little bit of her left over in, in this new world. And you can see that this, this is kind of a black and white world, and this is all the color um, of the world that she left behind. So there you go. That's, the, that's fertilizer. Um, and it is going to be in a gallery in Sedona. Um, and so because it's going to a gallery in Sedona, Arizona, I wanted to go ahead and make a video before I send the painting off. All right. Thanks for listening. Bye.